it again, but it feels different. Surprised I can pull you into this place? The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned Emily into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. What's she playing at? Maybe how is the question? games in the tower, but at night I'd go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spy master caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the streets with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me what you We were just playing. Lady Jessica, what's your account? It was her. Delilah's lie. She broke it. parts of Dunwall, ending up in debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could have offered. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Your sentence is served and she'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. If this is true, and how much is Delilah's warped imagination? When I saw what they'd done to Anton Sokolov, I wanted to hurt everyone who'd helped Delilah and the Duke of Sirkonos pull off their coup. Sokolov is the man who made whale oil into a weapon who turned back the plague, and now he's barely able to speak. The hands that painted the most powerful men and women of our time shake too badly to hold a spoon. When he does talk, he's going to give me a name, the next step along the way to Duke Luca Abel, then Delilah herself. A name, that's all I need. Is her doing. 
and she'll die for it. Our decisions have weight. I feel my time drawing to an end. Soon. wanted me to help him with a rather complicated problem. It would have enabled him to make his clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the cost. Clever man. Not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Corvo did for me. Freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. I knew you'd try, Megan. They kept me going after they gave me to Jindosh. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Anton, you've had three days to rest. Tell me how to kill Delilah. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne, and she has Emily. Anton, once we had you in a cage and you dared us to kill you, I need that man back. Kovo, she's right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other, but Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sir Konos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. The curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous. As obsessed with the occult as Delilah, apparently she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to. starts to burn. What a painting that will make. This was once my world. All things, from the northernmost shores to here, Karnas in the south. Some better progress than I would have expected. Good to see that you're still with us. Thank you for helping Anton. Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls, he'll undo my best efforts here. I'm working on that. Believe me, the Duke has my full attention. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. Maybe, Alexandria, but sometimes your friends dictate your fate. If I don't see you again, you've got my ongoing gratitude. I'll make up some more medicines for Sokolov. Take care of yourself. You're in a position to change things.
we'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me. Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. Dennis outlawed Underwood export the protected trees. I can't keep track of all the decrees. My client's refurbishing a gazebo, adding an exotic southern touch. I don't get it. When I went to Dunwall, I brought back a river cross shell to use as an ashtray. Because it reminds me of good times. But what's the point of buying a book in a country you never visited? Lady Shersha has money, so she gets the wood she wants. Once I told her a thousand.
Linda, you look great. Enrico said to give you his regards. That donkey-faced Cretan can open his wrists for all I care. Did you bring me something? The silver cigarette case like we agreed? No, listen, I, I won't steal anything else. I'm lucky to have room and board at one of the finest places in Karnaka. I, I can't lose this job. Oh, really? You like being a servant? Polishing and dusting. The place smells of lavender and antique furniture. Not like the dust district where the soot makes your teeth gray. Is that any way to talk about the place where we got our start, Beatrix? You're too good for street dust now. We'll see about that. If they want war, we'll give it to them. probably ran off, you ask me. Must have had a thing for each other. No, she went missing a day before he did. And someone found an officer's pistol in the gutter. I think something else happened. Maybe they went inside the conservatory. Look, Karnaka's leaking people. We tell ourselves we're keeping it together, but everyone is afraid of what will happen when it really falls apart. <clears throat> um... Void was that noise. Stand a chance anyway. Come, Come out, on, wherever I don't have time you are. For games. I'll find you. you know. Hello. Hello. Uh, Anybody? By the void. Odd times, hard times. Gotta be on the lookout. the thick Inside the Royal Conservatory. A man who won't stop until he has turned every bit of this land silver into shiny coins. I asked him to double the number of mine workers, and he did it. No questions, no complaints. Karnaka needed miners, and he produced them out of thin air.
there! No! Come back here! No use running! Ah. I'll be telling! Ah. Give it a paper oh, hit damn it. Oh. Ready? You are going they anywhere! Protect your oh, captain, shit. damn it! So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. Lucky day, madam. It's the day you get to meet Pirate Betty in person. Time to pay the price if you want to live. Never heard of her. Oh, wait, wasn't she a waitress down on the docks? You must have heard the stories about Pirate Betty. About all the terrible things I've done to the fools who refuse to give up some trinkets or a bag of coins. 
No, I've never heard one word about your exploits, but go on. What did you do to your marks? Give them a good tap on the nose? For shit's sake, why do you have to ruin everything? I played my part when I was the victim. How are we supposed to attract any suckers if you won't play along? You're the worst suck I've ever seen. Pirate Betty, my ass, you couldn't scare a seagull. What a moving, tragic death. You're a far better... Oh, shit! shit. Oh. 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 Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. Now think about it. See anything you like? Welcome back. Please, take your time. Let's see. I have some upgrade plans for your gear. I'd love to know who made that mask. No need to wrap it for you. I suppose. An excellent choice. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. The district is so quiet since the conservatory was closed. Blueprints for better weaponry.
across this dying city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society, forced to win some bloated baker. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But, just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that, never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashwood's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well.
fountain? Yeah, the water gets nasty sometimes. It flows from the fountain to the conservatory basement. There was work being done, so there's a great missing. Maybe some animal crawled in there and died. Disgusting. You'd think someone inside the conservatory would complain. The place is mostly shuttered, but somebody's still inside. There was a delivery from Jindosh Clockworks a few days back. Whatever they're doing, I'd be happier if the gate wasn't so close to that fountain. out how a sword through the heart wasn't enough to kill our new empress, Delilah. After trying to make grave hounds for weeks, she gave up. You should have seen the twist. I don't like that. Better have a look. Magistrates, come before me. For I am Delilah, your sister.
Maybe the incantation will work. Just. Luck from the street. There's a quality to Brianna's style I prefer. Touched by something from deep down. Where there's no light. The endless womb and the shape of dead brain. Huh? But Brianna's effigy has let her reach into the mind, into the heart. Wouldn't you be afraid she'd now influence your dreams? Every time like I she's going to do to the sisters of the Abbey? That's part of the thrill. <laughs> was insane. How does this even work?
gibbering idiot now. I don't know, Delilah. Forgive me. No, my dear. It's a loss. But I doubt he had anything more to give us. Sokolov was taken away as well. Who would want that ancient fool? Never mind. How goes the communion? I am hungry to whisper into the ears of the oracular sisters. My influence grows. Last night, I walked through a dream with one. And we drank from a fountain in the town where she was born. Vice Overseer Burns' suspicions were right. Business with Jim Dodge won't affect things. No. He continued to tinker with the lenses. Thicker, thinner, more opaque. It was tiresome to watch. I still had the old lenses and cast-off parts piled in my workshop. But Jendash finished some time ago. The rest is up to me, learning to use the machine. A tricky thing, touching the void through such a device. Blood and biscuits. I look forward to using it myself once you're ready. Will you visit soon? Perhaps. Dunwall Tower is mostly in hand. The High Overseer won't be a problem anymore. And there's the matter of my own project. I grow more excited with each brushstroke. When I come to Karnaka, we'll drink an ocean of good wine and stay tight as a boiled owl. I look forward to it. For now, I need your eyes on the Duke. At least until we have the sisters under control. There's no one else I trust. I'll reach out to you again on the morrow. Farewell. Goodbye, Delilah, my Empress. These odd lenses might be linked to what Ashworth is working on. So this could be tampered with. Ashworth could be cut off from the void entirely. No more witchcraft. of the void. Delilah. It was everything I had. Leave me alone. You've ruined me. I'm a threat to you now. To anyone. That's it. I'm done. Leave me alone. You've ruined me. Tell me more about why Delilah can't be killed. Advantageous marriage and years of childbearing. They promised me to a man three times my age who wheezed on about our wedding night. But a curious thing happened on the way to the altar, Delilah. From the first time I slipped out of the manor in the dead of night, there was no returning to my cage. 
Looking at the stars and drinking wine on a rooftop, I was free. Instead of seeing the overseers for marriage, I visited my father's banker and raced away from my old life toward Delilah. Those were the coven's glory days. As if you could ever hide your face from me, Royal Protector. I see you there, back in the city that spawned you. It's done. Brianna Ashworth is no longer a witch. You villain! You don't even know what you've done! A great bloom wilts and fades from the world. This is only the start. You've pissed all over everything, but you'll pay for it. Oh, Brianna. I don't believe we will speak again. The thought of seeing you reduced to such a pale, sad thing. It's too much to bear. I hate you for this, Corvo Atano. Hold on to that hate, Delilah. Maybe it'll give you some comfort when I cut your heart out. about Delilah, you shouldn't have kept it from me. Jessamine, you'd laugh if you could see me now in this situation.
Delilah fell to the assassin Dowd. Her magic was lost, and the coven scattered. I made a new life in Karnaka. Then I heard her whispering from the void, leading me to the Duke, who heard those same whispers. Together we worked to bring Delilah back into the world, changing the Empire from the home of Earth to Stilton three years ago. Across the Isles, all of us who'd been with her at Brigmore and before, we felt the magic return. Others joined. New faces, new blood. Now, Delilah is immortal. Forever. She holds Dunwall, and we've turned to corrupting the oracular order. The overseers take guidance from their prophetic sisters, and soon we'll influence their dreams and visions. Come on, show yourself. We're all waiting for you. Feel safe. What? Welcome back. I see you found the prototype. Your acquaintance didn't make it. It is a risky line of work, I'm afraid, but let's not dwell. I expect you'll be interested in payment. First your finder's fee, of course, and if you like, I can draw up some schematics based on the prototype, something you can use to modify your tools. And as a token of my appreciation, a discount at the shop. A fair deal. Come in, my friend. Always a delight to see you. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Need to wrap it for you, I suppose. Visit again soon. And welcome back. Please, take your time. Excellent choice. Farewell, and do take care out on the streets. Sorry, we're closed. 
So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Corvo, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. You live long enough, that happens. Yeah. But what I did is worse than most. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now, but I felt like you should know. There are things I regret, Corvo. Deception doesn't make for good allies, Foster. Is that what you think, Royal Protector? You'll have to tell me all your secrets someday. Are you ready to leave now? Yes, let's go. Take me back to the dreadful whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos and Delilah. 